Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video I want to show you how to set up and start mining Ubik. If you haven't heard about Ubik yet, uh, feel free to uh, go ahead and check their site. I'll put a link in the description. But real quickly, as you can see uh, in here, uh, Ubik is a decentralized platform which allows the creation and implementation of smart contracts and uh, decentralized applications built upon an improved Ethereum code base. The Ubik blockchain acts as a largely globally distributed ledger and supercomputer. Uh, definitely an exciting coin, especially with the fact that eventually Ethereum will move to POS. This is a great option that you can look into and if you want to, you, uh, you can even start mining uh, right now. I personally have mined Ubik. Uh, I made a video in regards to it some days ago. Uh, at the moment I have stopped the miners doing something else with it. But I will definitely be going back to it as I do see a great uh, potentials uh, uh, coming up uh, for Ubik. So uh, before we get into the uh, actual mining, uh, let's first of all look at where Ubik is at the coin market cap. And as we can see, currently standing at uh, uh, number 54, uh, and one Ubik cost one dollar fifty-seven, uh, up ninety dollar uh, ninety percent. Uh, sorry, nine percent. Um, when I started mining Ubik, it was over two dollars. It has dropped a bit in price, but that's normal. You know, the market always goes ups and down. But definitely I do see you be going much much higher eventually right so uh, first thing first uh, in order to start you're gonna need a wallet I personally have uh, installed myself the fusion wallet you can of course look into the other wallets as well pretty easy to install all you gotta do is come up here choose which platform you want the wallet for I have the Mac so I've installed this one just click uh, you know obviously click on the one you want follow the instruction once you install it this is how the wallet actually looks like uh, the first time you install it always takes a bit of time uh, to get it set up uh, but once done very easy to use uh, very straightforward very simple and it just does the job uh, perfectly so launch the application uh, and here is my wallet uh, this is where you're gonna obviously be prompted once you installed your wallet as well click on the main account and here is uh, obviously the address uh, we're gonna need to copy it and then put it into the uh, clay mode uh, so we can start getting our earnings. Once you get the wallet, you uh, then need the clay mode. Now, the clay mode you're currently using to mine Ethereum, that's the same clay mode you're going to use uh, to mine Ubik. If you obviously don't have clay mode, you can uh, go ahead and download it from this uh, uh, site here. I'll put a link in the description. And in fact, if you click on the Google link, uh, you can choose which uh, clay mode do you want. Do you want the latest version or previous version? It's up to you which one you want to choose. I'm mining Ubik currently, or when I was mining it, on version 9.2. Uh, right, so once uh, obviously you get the claim all, uh, if you don't have it or you have it, we're then going to go ahead and set up the actual mining. Now this is the pool I'm using, so it, when you're in the Ubik site, uh, you can go to network and then you can choose which uh, pool you obviously want mine to uh, mine with. I'm mining with a Ubik pool. Uh, here is Ubik pool. Uh, when you're in the home page, um, you can see some uh, useful information, how many miners online, uh, pool hash rate, uh, 71.9 uh, gigahertz, pool fee, uh, the moment is 0 0.5, uh, last block uh, found one minute ago, network difficulty at 10.36, it does increase because more and more people are getting into mining Ubik, obviously a lot of people want to get in uh, while the difficulty is still low. Uh, because eventually, if uh, you know, when the Ethereum moves to POS, a lot of uh, people will start looking to other options, and I'm sure this difficulty rise much higher. And obviously, the you know the the coins we could be earning will start getting lower and lower. Um, here you can see you can choose United States or Europe. Uh, I'm choosing Europe uh, for my mining. Um, click on it, and you can see here what we need to set up for the uh, to run for Claymore. So you gotta do pretty simple guys, you can copy it right from here, obviously, and then put it into your batch, uh, batch file. So let me now then show you, so pretty, again as I said, pretty easy, you can also click on miners, see how many uh, miners exactly are, which one, how much power it has, you can even click on it and see how much coins they have, for instance I'll show you here, if we click on the top one, uh, we can see they have um, in total 443 coins, so that means they've been mining uh, uh, recently they've started uh, 24 pending balance and so on very easy very straightforward you can also see the workers and the same thing you can do with yourself so if I go home and I click on my uh, obviously address because you put the address in here I look up and, I'll, and as you can see here this is how much I got paid in total so far 428 
worth at the moment $682. This obviously changes depending on the price, how much they're worth in BTC, obviously the hash rate for the last 30 minutes, hash rate for three hours and so on. And here I'll have my uh, obviously workers or you have your workers and you can see them how they're doing. So let's go to the actual uh, real quickly, 6%. Sorry guys, bear with me. Let me put... All right, luckily I catch the laptop before it dies. Um, so uh, let me go now to my miner. Here is my miner. Uh, so as I said, I'm mining. I was mining on 9.2, and uh, there's few ways you can do it, guys. I mean, if you have the obviously the Ethereum miner already obviously running, you can just copy everything from there. But if you want, you can just create a new a new file. So I'm going to create a new file, so I'll show you how it's actually done as well. So the way I do it, I go to new, um, rich uh, text uh, document, uh, call it let's say Ubic, uh, then I'll open it, and first thing first, let, I'm going to go to uh, start Ethereum, so I'll open this one, and I'm going to copy <coughs> this information from here guys, because it is the same, <coughs> excuse me, information. Uh, then I'm going to, sorry, one second. So let me close this and I'm going to place this here for the moment. Now, um, obviously from here we're going to need to go to the Ubic. Um, but I already got the file so I'll just show you. So if we go back here, so choose Europe, we can copy this information and place it in there. Uh, but because I'm using obviously the Ubic uh, uh, pool and, and I'll show you the information I have. So I'm going to collect it from my already created batch file but this is the same information you can uh, pick up from there obviously in here I've got all my details as well so I'm gonna copy this one and I'll explain it to you now in a moment uh, so I'm gonna close this now so here is the new file and as you can see so I'm gonna place this uh, which again as I said you can uh, take it from the uh, Ubic pool site so here it is ether uh, DCR minus 64 dot exe uh, I've got a setup as follow, uh, all coins, one, e-pool, uh, I've got the ubicpool.io, uh, 8008, e-wall, here you're going to have to, and by the way, I'm going to put all this information into the description section, so you can just copy it and create your batch file, very easy, and all you're going to, if you're going to do the same, if you're going to use the same pool, all you're going to have to really change is your address, you're going to change this address to your address, and then obviously you can change these commands, you can delete them, whatever you want to do. I personally disable the uh, watchdog. Uh, here is the password, which is X. E-worker, you're going to change the e-worker name to whatever you want. And this is a T-stop, so if the temperature goes higher than 85 uh, degrees, so the minor stops. Uh, fan minimum 50%, fan maximum 100. And this is my settings for my uh, GPU uh, to run. Again, you can delete this or you can change it to whatever are your ones. And this is pretty much it, guys. So once I've got all this information in here, I click on File and then I click Save As. Now, when Save As, you're going to have to choose, if you haven't done this before, if you've done it, you know what I'm talking about, All Files, and then just put .bad. So that will create a batch file. I'm going to close here. And as you can see, guys, here is my Ubic uh, batch file. So now let me stop what I'm doing at the moment uh, so I can show you how to run it. So this is pretty much it guys. Once again, uh, I'm going to put this information, I'm going to put all the links. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. I do my best to help you out. And at the same time, if I have missed anything, I feel free to put it in the comment section as well. So uh, everybody else that uh, will watch this video. I can learn from you guys as well because this is why it's nice when we make when I make this video so we can learn from each other. But other than that, pretty straightforward. Uh, of course, if you choose a different pool, you're gonna have to put a different pool. If you choose the United States one, you're gonna have to put the information for the United States. Um, so let's now go back to the miner. Once you have your batch file, uh, all you gotta do is double click, and as you can see, the miner will start uh, uh, working. And we're just gonna leave it now. See, here is six GPUs. Exactly the same as obviously a mining Ethereum, but at this uh, time you will be mining a Ubic. As you can see here, it is Ubic pool. Um,
So let us start. It, it starts now mining. Um, again, if you uh, are uh, not sure how to create the batch file or anything like this, I mean, I've obviously tried to show you, but if there's anything that you're not sure of, uh, feel free to uh, ask me in the comment section. I will put all the information uh, in, uh, on the batch file in the description section so you can just copy it and then obviously change it to your one. Once again, let's open it while the, the miner is just uh, getting uh, the hang of it. So this is all you gotta do if you use the same pool. If you're using a different pool, you just have to change obviously the pool you're gonna use and then you gotta change uh, the address, uh, the, uh, the Ubic address to your uh, address and of course the name uh, of your worker if you want to call it something else and of course the uh, Ethereum commands uh, you know you can if you're already mining Ethereum you can just uh, obviously change the commands to the ones you have for the Ethereum um, and that's pretty much it however if you want you can leave these commands and give it a try with them uh, if not just delete the commands whatever you want to do here is up to you guys uh, in fact if you are already mining Ethereum uh, you can simply just copy the Ethereum file, open the Ethereum file, obviously, all you can do actually is, I'll show you now, you can open the Ethereum file, so click on edit, open it, change the pool, change uh, obviously the address for the Ubic one, change the, you know, just copy the details from there to here, and then from here just go to uh, save us, and just call it Ubic, and, uh, and remember to click all files, so you can obviously put the batch file, dot batch, and that's pretty much it guys very easy and as you can see here it is mining away currently uh, giving me 176.44 mega hashes uh, mining ubic 6 gpus this by the way is are uh, my rx uh, 580 uh, gaming x 8 gb graphic cards which are doing quite well guys as you can see 176.447 a very profitable i'd say coin and in fact let's look at the profitability of this coin at the moment guys remember these things do change uh, but let's look at it uh, head to head with uh, Ethereum uh, real quickly. So if I go to uh, what to mine, uh, so 174 as you saw with yourself, guys. Let's call it 175 uh, power. Uh, you obviously gonna have to put the power you're getting. I'm I'm actually mining this at 184 watts at the moment. A uh, pool fee as you saw with a 0 0.5. Uh, my cost is a 0 0.12. Uh, hardware cost is 2600 so what I'm gonna do now here I'm gonna copy this so I can look at it head to head uh, for you uh, with Ethereum but then I'm gonna have to obviously change the coin to Ethereum so going down uh, the numbers will be exactly the same because I'm pulling the same whatever you're pulling with your Ubic pool in terms of uh, hash rate and obviously power uh, for me is the same uh, so and let's put 0 0.5 uh, let's say the pool fee for Ethereum as well put my cost and obviously the rig cost me 2600 to build you can obviously put your numbers from here so let's first of all look at the Ethereum at the moment and as you can see currently guys with this amount of power I'll be earning uh, daily $17 uh, weekly $119 and monthly $513 and yearly $6245 which is not bad at all guys obviously the difficult has risen drastically on Ethereum as you can see is now over 1000 terahashes um, so let's compare it now to Ubic here is the same information hit the calculate let me just check uh, making sure that everything was put correctly uh, yep so looking now at Ubic and as you can clearly see guys uh, it is, Ethereum is still a, a, a bit more profitable but so let's look at it daily 13.33 uh, uh, weekly 93 monthly uh, almost four hundred dollars and yearly four thousand eight hundred sixty five however guys um, you are definitely earning much more coins in comparison to the uh, obviously the um, uh, you know the coins you're generating uh, uh, mining ethereum and this is where the, the difference uh, come along guys so as you can see yearly uh, you know mining uh, 26 ethereum coins uh, however Ubic, uh, you'll be mining 3,813 coins. So obviously, if Ubic price goes to $10, uh, you can imagine the amount of profits that you could be making mining Ubic and obviously holding for now. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully, a very useful video introduction to Ubic. If you haven't obviously mined it, heard about it, 
uh, go check it out. Uh, feel free uh, again, as I said, to you know start mining if you want to. I, I'd say it's definitely sometimes it's definitely worth uh, getting into while uh, it's still at early stage. Not many people are doing it because obviously this network difficulty. Look at it, what is today, and I guarantee you next week will be much higher than this. And this obviously will have an effect on the coins earned. Now the profit could be higher because the, if we, if the price of Ubik is rising, then obviously the profits could get higher. Uh, than the ones we looked in here in terms of dollars but obviously those coins will start reducing with time so that's uh, for me guys uh, again I'm going to put a link on all the descriptions hopefully this video was useful to you if you do have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section in any input or anything I've missed feel free to share it in the comment section uh, so we can all learn from uh, each other and obviously people who are just beginning can read all the comments and, and pick up uh, you know information from all of us um, so yeah that's it this is the wallet as I've shown you guys so let me close this uh, as I said definitely a, a worth looking into it guys and uh, definitely worth uh, you know trying see how your uh, rig is performing hopefully just as good because again as I said you can clearly see it. I'm pulling exactly the same powers as I'm pulling uh, on my Ethereum in terms of the mining rig um, and finally guys by the way if you are with Genesis mining uh, I know this is something uh, different, but uh, I am doing the same, uh, both things with uh, mining rigs and uh, GNC mining. Uh, I'm actually giving away, uh, starting from next week, uh, 5 Ethereum uh, coins. Let me actually uh, put in, what was it here? Uh, let me show you something. Set to the desktop. So, yeah, uh, July 10th, I'm giving uh, starting to give away. Uh, 5 Ethereum coins, uh, yeah, I'll put a link in the description of this video, go check it out and if you want you can obviously uh, support me. If you do want to support me on JNC Mining, uh, feel free to use my 3% discount code which you can find in the description and the comment section. Um, so yeah, thank you guys once again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something new and yeah, any input, feel free to share it with me. And I'm enjoying this guys because we are really uh, learning a lot from each other. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, one more thing, sorry, uh, I know I'm saying one more thing and one more thing. Uh, some people have been stealing my content so if you do want to support me on Genesis Mining by the way or on YouTube if you want to subscribe to me or Steam and this is my username and this is my uh, Genesis Mining code if you do want to use it uh, for any of your upgrades. Thank you guys, this is from me, see you on the next one, bye bye.